Let's start by talking about supplies, best case scenario, and how to pinch hit if you need to, which I need to in this case. So we are going to make this cute little pom-pom ball for the back of the hood, you know, little Santa ball, out of a washcloth. So you're gonna need one washcloth. You're going to need red and white thread. We're going to need fabric scissors, rotary cutter, rulers, then, I'm going to be using this nine inch circle ruler by Lori Holt, because then I can just use my rotary cutter to create the circle to make the pom-pom ball. But if you don't have that, you can use a plate. You can use a little smaller, a little bigger, but this is pretty much what you're gonna get if you use a nine inch circle. Now back to the perfect world and other world scenario. Red bath towel and red hand towel, white hand towel, white washcloth. That's the perfect world. If you can't find a red hand towel, get two red bath towels. That's what we're gonna need to get this done. It is going to be quick and easy, and it is going to be so incredibly cute. Let's get started. Step one, we need to cut our towels into the pieces that we need to make this hooded towel. So I'm going to start by cutting the washcloth. If you have a rotary mat, you wanna use that. This cute pink one is by Sue Daly from Riley Blake Designs. Then I'm going to be using the circle ruler from Lori Holt. But again, you can use a plate if you don't have this. Place your hand flat down, press that down, and you're just going to cut, 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 cut. When your wrist gets so tweaked that you can't move it and stay along that edge again, you're just going to turn this. I'm going to get that all the way around. See how easy that was? Now we're going to take our white circle and we're going to do our gathering stitches. Now, normally I would do this in white, so it's not going to show, but then you will have no clue what I'm doing and it's actually kind of hard to see. I'm going to use red so that you can really see what I'm doing. I'm gonna go halfway around and then I'm gonna go the other half. Sometimes people will gather, they'll sew all the way around, but I find that to be a little hard to get it to work all the way around and sometimes my thread breaks, so I like to go halfway. First, we need to pull up the bobbin thread. You want both of your threads nice and long on both sides of your gathering. I'm gonna go about a quarter inch from the edge and I'm just gonna stitch halfway around. Now, do not cut your thread here. Lift your foot, lift your needle if it is down, and now you need to pull these threads so you have about 10 to 12 inches again. Put those threads on that half. Now we're gonna make sure this is nice and long for starting and we're gonna do the other half of the circle. And you wanna make sure, again, that you have long strings on both sides of where you want to gather. Now we're going to gather this. Let me show you our goal. This is the one that I've already done. You want it to be a washcloth because you're gonna put this through the wash, you want it to dry nicely. I gathered and then I stitched this together just so it makes this big old clump of a Santa ball. So the first thing you need to do is you need to organize these threads. So there's two for that half, two for that half. Do the same on the other side, just so you know what you're, you're pulling. And you know, if you want to, you could do two separate colors so that it's a little bit easier to figure out which threads go with which half. Now you're just going to grab the top thread from one side, doesn't matter which, and you're just gonna gently pull and you're going to gather that washcloth. And I usually pull until it stops and then I push the washcloth along the string just to move that gathering around. So I kind of do that as far as I can. It's gathering pretty nicely. So now I'm gonna take the top thread from the other side just to finish. See, having the multiple threads just makes it go a little bit quicker and easier. So that half is pretty well gathered. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other half of the circle. So now we have that pretty gathered. We have all these long, long threads. So now I wanna figure out which ones are from the left and which ones are from the right. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to tie them together. Did a knot, so that brought these sides together. Now we just need to pull this stuff in a little bit more. So what I decided to do was I have some three inch long soft sculpture needles that have a really big head to them. And so I can take, take this long batch of threads, put that through this needle, and then I'm just going to sew just to pull it all into one spot. So you're basically just getting all that gathering mushed together into the center. And it doesn't have to be done neatly because this is all going to be sewn onto the towel. Trim the extra thread and we're gonna set this aside until we have the rest of the hooded towel together. This will be the last thing that we sew on. 
Next, we are going to take our white towel and we are going to cut this to 16 and a half inches by five inches. This is a very linty project because you're going to have a lot of raw edges of towel. But don't worry, we are going to we're going to use zigzagging or get out your serger if you have one to serge some edges and then always make sure you clean your machine after you do a project like this because it will probably have more than a usual amount of lint inside. And this is going to be extra. So if you wanted to make little washcloths out of that, or if you were going to make two Santa hooded towels, you have enough with one hand towel to make two. Now you're going to zigzag down two of the short and one of the long sides. We're not gonna do all four sides because we're going to be cutting a curve off of the top. So we would have cut all that stitching off. Next, we need to cut a piece out of our towel. Now, if you have the hand towel, you're going to use your hand towel, but because I don't, I'm pinch hitting and I'm cutting it out of a big towel. And for this, we need a piece that is 16 and a half inches by nine and a half inches. And because we're going to be adding the white around the front edge, we're going to work from all raw edges. So I have that fold lined up on that grid line so that I know I'm going straight. Towels are not the straightest things. So you always wanna work from the fold and then we'll, we'll trim accordingly. Nice and thick, which makes it a little bit harder to cut, but we've got this. I'm gonna grab my lint roller. This is great for getting threads off your ironing board. And when you have really fluffy things like towels or minky fabric that you're cutting, it helps to get it off of your cutting mat. Now I've changed to a zigzag foot and I'm going to zigzag down the two short ends and across one long end of the red hood. Now I'm using a pretty wide zigzag 4.8 and not a super short, because we're not doing applique on this, we're just securing the edge. So I'm doing a three length, and then I want my needle to go over the edge. This is the perfect job for a serger if you have one, but I don't. So I'm going to be doing the zigzag. You can do whatever works for you. And keep pushing that away from your sewing machine as the fuzz comes off, because you want as little as possible to get sucked down in there. Our next step is to make the Santa white border go onto this hood. If you wanna just keep it simple, you're going to leave this straight, so then you're just going to fold that under so that the raw edges are under there. You might wanna zigzag them first just for extra security, and then you're gonna sew straight across. I don't know, I wanted to make my life a little more complicated, so this would be a little bit cuter. So I'm going to make a curved line so it looks like Santa's hat. So this template is available in the pattern that I am selling on Etsy. You don't have to buy it, you can do it the straight way, but if you want this curve and all the written directions, you can go find that there. The link will be in the description below. So I've printed out this template. I'm just gonna cut it in half right along that line. Now we have to match these dashed lines where it has the letter A. So I'm gonna cut one of them on the line, then, we're going to tape that together, matching that curve. Now I'm going to take the white, these are the zigzag sides. This is the cut side, just raw, ready to roll. Going to line these edges up and then we're going to pin that and cut that curve. So our next step is to decide how you want to put the white trim onto the hood. So the first thing you're going to do is have it so you can see about, an, you know, half an inch to an inch of the red, so you can see how high this is going to be. And you're going to decide how big you want this part to be on the hood. Do you want it to be really pretty small? Do you want it to be bigger? Totally up to you how you want to do this. So I'm gonna do it like that. So I'm gonna line those edges up. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm going to fold this down. So we're going to stitch straight across here, but not catch that. I'll show you that part in a minute. I also want to stitch closer to this just to really secure this on here. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to take a heat erasable pen or draw a line about a half an inch from that fold just so I have a second place to secure this onto the towel. And that line will erase when I iron. Any heat will get rid of that line so you don't have to worry about that at all. Now we're going to flip that because we don't wanna stitch that part yet. We're gonna zigzag that onto the front. This is just securing this to the back. I'm just gonna pin this together and then we're going to sew here and here. Now for these two lines of stitching, I'm going to use white thread to match the white and a bobbin thread to match the red because that will be on the back side. And now I'm sewing down the line that we drew to connect the white closer to the edge of the red. 
Now the white is secured onto the red. Now I'm gonna turn this over. We'll get all that off later too. And I'm going to bring the curve forward. And if you don't do the curve, that's totally fine. You're gonna use the same procedure, but this will be straight. And I'm gonna pin this on. Now I'm going to zigzag to secure this together. So I'm doing a 3.2 wide and about a 1.7 long. You will have to help move your fabric along because you're doing two layers of towels and my zigzag doesn't work with a walking foot. So I'm assuming yours might not either. And I'm still using the red bobbin and the white top thread. Now we're going to take our hood and we're going to do it right sides together. So the curved sides together, we're gonna to fold this in half. And now we're just going to sew down the back and that is going to make the back of the hood. And we've already zigzagged that edge. So we just need to do a straight stitch with a quarter inch seam. Our hood is done. We're going to connect it to the towel and then we're going to put the pom-pom that we made. Remember, it's been a while. We're gonna put that right on there and this is going to be so adorable. The next step is to sew our hood onto our towel. So this is the seam we just sewed. And then this edge is going to sew right inside the edge of the towel. Let me show you how we're going to set that up. So this is the big bath towel and I have it folded in half long ways. So this is the center mark of the long side of the towel. It's almost like we're making a cape. Now we're going to match that center mark with this seam that we just sewed for the back of the hood. I'm going to fold this part back just a teeny bit so that I can place the hood right inside and we're gonna overlap it about a half inch. And now we are going to pin the hood to the towel. We want this edge to be on the inside of the towel and the outside is just gonna look super cute. So the outside is going to have the sewn edge of the bath towel over top of the hood, just like that. And then when you get to the center, you can just fold it over and pin the other side. So as you can see, you can get this hood to lay nice and flat. So it's gonna be not too, it's gonna be nice and easy to sew as long as you get it pinned on evenly over the towel. If you have a walking foot, this would be a good time to use it because we do have a bit of bulk to sew over, especially on this white part. Now I'm gonna start before the white section so that the thread can get knotted and we can get up to speed. And then we're just sewing across it instead of trying to do any knotting and everything right on that thickness. Make sure you don't sew over your pins because that's a sure way to break a needle. And then either have your stiletto or a turning tool or your scissors ready because you, even with a walking foot, you might have to help this along a little bit. So now we're gonna sew right along this edge all the way down and just past the other end of the white. Once you get off that white, it gets a lot easier. And I am using red thread for both the top and the bobbin because we're going over red and we don't want any of the stitching to show. It will show a little bit on the white, but overall it's red to red. Now I'm going to turn it over because you'll see we have all of this towel that's not attached to the hood. So I'm going to sew right along the edging of the towel. So we're gonna have double stitching to keep this hood nice and secure. And even with the walking foot, I had to pull a little bit to get it to go because it was just going up such a big lump of towel. That's a technical term. And as you go, just keep adjusting the towel and the hood so that this part you're about to sew on stays flat. Oh, we're almost done. The hood is on the towel. I love the curve. Straight will be really cute too, but I love the curve. Now we need to take our little washcloth pom-pom ball and attach it to the point of the hood. I have taken this long needle again and I have doubled the thread and tied it in a knot. And because this is a washcloth, it's gonna wash and dry great in the laundry. You're just gonna have to poof it out a little bit when it's on your child's head. And you're gonna need to make sure that you get it sewn on pretty securely so it's not going to come off in the wash. And I'm using white this time so that no matter where the stitching is on this little ball, it is not going to show. So my goal here, <laughs> I do have a goal. My goal here is to just kind of keep going around and kind of sewing a little circle around the base of the washcloth, attaching it to the hood each stitch. I think every baby celebrating Christmas needs one of these. Okay, so I'm back past where I started. So I'm just gonna put a couple really short, tight stitches and then knot this and then I am done. That's it, it's done.
This is going to be perfect for the holiday season. If you make any of these and post them on social media, I would love to see and make sure you tag me. And also make sure you have subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss any of the sewing tutorials. Happy sewing and Merry Christmas.